Hello and welcome to the Online Trainers Podcast, where we go behind the scenes to uncover the latest tactics and strategies top trainers around the world are using to get more clients, dominate their marketplace, and get their clients amazing results. There is absolutely no fluff here. I'm your host, Lynn Trin. Hello and welcome to episode number 29 on the Online Trainers Podcast. Today's topic is going to be inside my car whilst I make my way for a gym session. But more importantly, today's topic is all about planning and preparation and why it's so important, why planning is the key to your success and why failing to plan is planning to fail, really. We've heard that quote before, but really I wanted to dive in and dig deeper into how you should plan running your business, how you should plan running any advertising campaign, how you should plan really coaching your clients and moving forward. Now, for a long time, and this is what I talk about, I recently spoke about this inside my Facebook group, I said, look, I launched a lead magnet and I was getting $2 a lead, but at the end of the day, it bombed for me because I wasn't able to convert those leads into prospects or those prospects into clients. And the problem with that is I didn't have a plan, right? I just threw stuff at the wall and I wanted to see what happens and I listened to a guru who told me to run a lead magnet. I did so and I didn't see the result because I failed to understand what my plan was. I failed to get my plan from A to B and close it off. So a lot of people start a plan and they leave it open. Okay, they leave this open loop. They start a plan, they run this lead magnet and then the next question is they don't know how to strategically close off that loop so that it finishes and that plan doesn't have necessarily an outcome. Okay, and I'm going to give you a perfect example of this and let's dive into your Facebook ad. So specifically, I launched this Facebook ad. It was called the seven deadlift mistakes that guys make and my plan there was to get more clients. That was the ultimate goal and I thought, okay, this was what I had written inside my head (laughs) as most do, right? This is what I'd written inside my head. I said, okay, if I run this advertising campaign on Facebook and I get people to follow up and they're going to download my lead magnet. I'm going to get them onto my email list. I'm going to send them emails every day. And then hopefully they're going to buy from me, right? They're naturally going to buy because I deliver value every single day. And that was my plan. And theoretically, it sounded really good. But it bombed because, you know, I spent $400 on advertising. I wasted money and time in terms of getting it designed, developed and published. But more so, I didn't convert any of the 100 people or 200 people that I got in to become clients and customers of mine because I failed to see the roadmap. And what I mean by that is you see, every time you run a campaign, every time you do anything inside your business, you should take at least five to 10 minutes to really sit down and map out the objectives of the campaign. And ultimately here, the Facebook objective campaign is to obviously get people to sign up. That's the goal. So the whole plan has to be based around, okay, well, what measures do I have in place to get people to sign up. So what I do these days, and hopefully if you're if you're listening to these podcasts and you're implementing, then hopefully you'll do this as well. I get a big A3 piece of paper and I like to draw what I call a little roadmap. And I'll start off with a square box and I'll call that my Facebook ad. And then I'll connect an arrow to another square box and then I'll say, look, that's the opt-in. And then I'll connect another square box to then going onto my email list. And then I'll connect another square box and I'll, I'll end up drawing out a plan of how we can actually achieve that outcome, that desired result that I'm trying to get happen, which is to sign my client up. Now, a lot of the times I I didn't do this. And the problem with not doing this is that I had a lot of ambiguity. And if you know what ambiguity causes, it causes inaction and it causes you to fail. Okay, that's what ambiguity causes. That's what ambiguity does, right? But if you have certainty, if you have certainty of your plan, then you can really have a look at the numbers and have a look at, well, how many people are downloading the lead mate? How many people are actually opening on my emails? What's happening step by step? Okay, and so that's really how I structure and plan things out because a lot of the times when I don't and I just want to get started because like I said, I'm just a starter and I like to really get things moving off the ground. I can pay for that in the long term. In fact, 99 to 100% of the times I pay that price because then it doesn't convert and I don't have this plan where I can fully complete it. And so ever since about six to seven months ago, I've started everything I do now, whether it's marketing, whether it's selling, okay, what's the plan? What's the blueprint for selling? What needs to happen first? So what I like to call this is generally there's a name, it's called systems. It's planning systems out for each segment of your business, okay? So with marketing, what's the system that you're going to implement that's going to turn your leads and prospects into clients? You know, they download your report and then what? 
and then they go onto your email list and then what how many emails do they get okay and then what what other systems can we add in there to get to our objective goal which is to sign up more clients so you might add things like videos you might add things like add them into the Facebook group you might add things like add them to the retargeting campaign things like this that you should be mapping out on an A3 piece of paper so you have systems for every part of your business and when I started thinking about this you know when you build a system and you put in the time and I say it's really five minutes but really generally they can take half an hour to an hour depending on how complex the system is you can really pull yourself out so you do the work once and that way you know you keep going in to refine it because when you test it once 199.9% of the time it's not going to work okay and that's when having this system you can kind of see at which point is the weakest link is it at my Facebook ads does that need to be improved are my emails crap and they're not you know converting my leads into clients and that way you can build out little systems for every segment of your business okay including well what happens after you sign up a new client what's the system well do they get added to a spreadsheet do they get sent out an email do they have to register to create their username and login what happens at week one what happens at week two and so if you plan all this out you've got a system and that way you can bring people into your business because you are running a business you're not running a job okay and so for a long period of time everything was stuck in my head and everything was vague but ever since transitioning to putting in the work now whether it's Facebook ads whether it's sales whether it's fulfillment things flow a lot more effectively and things flow a lot more efficiently and that way I can have a look at number one where are the bottlenecks in my business what do I need to improve on okay which area which point does in the pipeline do people get stuck or people don't show up or people don't buy or people don't get results at which point okay but secondly it allows me to actually close the loop so I reach my objective key outcome so at the start when I said look I just ran this deadlift lead magnet there was really no key outcome I was really hoping for something whereas if I have a plan in there if I have a system I can next time improve the system to go right emails that didn't work can I remarket to them do I need to send them videos do I need to add them inside the Facebook group and then message them three times or get my virtual assistant to message them three times so you know once you have this plan and you start documenting things down you become this almost chess player right you almost go from strategically thinking five six steps ahead rather than just reacting constantly and I think that's the biggest thing that I can give to you on this podcast episode is that you know, if you want to succeed, you need to build, you need to plan, you need to plan your outcome, okay, you need to open the loop, but also you need to close it, you need to understand, okay, what are you trying to achieve on this particular system, what is this system trying to do for you, with sales, well, the sales system is to effectively make sales and increase the sales rate and conversion rate, whilst reducing the time, the system for client fulfillment center is that, you know, you're building out this thing that gets clients amazing results, okay but how can you do so and be more effective and use less of your time and so that's what the systems are based around systems are based around key performance and key objectives okay that you want to accomplish the system your marketing system okay obviously turn your prospects into clients but also generate new prospects as well and you know you're getting people to know love and trust you you know your marketing might not be all about trying to get leads it could be some branding it could be you know scaling up or sponsoring some ads to to your audience okay so each system should have a key specific outcome and when you have that outcome and then you know what to work from then you can actually build it out step by step with those boxes and arrows and then you can actually have a look at where the leaking bottleneck is or the leaking hole is inside your system so you can go in and improve it okay but without this planning you're going to be stuck you're going to be reactive you're going to be frustrated you're going to obviously have not a lot of certainty inside your model and so when you have any complexity or uncertainty you don't take action so this is what happens when you launch a campaign and you're like well that didn't work and I'm never doing it again because you didn't have this system built out so you couldn't see where the bottlenecks are because if you have and you know where the bottlenecks are you can improve that next time and as I say you know there are so many people we see that picture of the guy digging towards that pot of gold underground 
and another guy reaching the pot of gold because he's just two millimeters away and this happens all the time it's so cliched that personal trainers run this campaign but because they haven't got the system mapped out and planned out that they lose because they can't actually find out where the bottleneck is they can't find out where the missing link is because they don't have it planned so that's the most unfortunate thing so your task for today's episode is to write down and start planning out your system for your marketing campaign your system for your client retention campaign your system for client results whatever point of the business you're doing whether it's selling whether it's email can you create a flow chart for it and document the necessary steps to get a desired outcome and that's the most important thing just don't document a flow chart document a flow chart with a desired objective desired outcome and that's where it's really going to help you the most but i really hope you enjoyed that and if you enjoyed this episode please feel free to share it with personal trainers friends colleagues who are going to benefit from this but most importantly you're going to find yourself an accountability buddy so you can start growing your business you can start earning more financially you can have more freedom okay and you can have more fun and that's why i'm here so have a fantastic day feel free to share it go and actually share it now press the button um, i think you can do that on your iphone i don't know how you can do it on the other resources it's two buttons away send it through a message and it's done and i'll see you in the next podcast episode all right if you enjoyed this podcast please leave me a five-star review on itunes and feel free to leave a review in that way i can respond and i can take that on board in developing content to serve you now if you're not a part of the online trainers club on facebook please do yourself a favor and be a part of the conversation that's where i add daily tips tricks and strategies on how you can build out funnels how you can get more clients and ultimately become a better online coach thank you for listening 